Okay, so this will be a really quick one just to uh, touch on some of the technical aspects of the application. Um, what is the timeline? Um, sometimes on a, on a Sunday morning running through the set list, there might be a certain section um, as part of the arrangement that we just want to go back to. Um, it's either for a lack of creative reason or we're just not happy with how it went down during the rehearsal. So they say, for example, Lion and the Lamb, um, I'd really like us to go back to the bridge because I wasn't 100% happy with how we did it. Um, all you have to do is just double tap on any section um, before you click play and it'll take you to there. There you go, so that goes in on the A minor seventh. And it gives you two bars bridge. until you get to the bridge. Right, so um, so that's just working with the timeline. If you want to skip forward, like I said, if you need to check your transitions, you can just skip to the end and see how they, um, how and where they're kicking in. Um, then, for example, on Lion and the Lamb, um, it's quite a long intro. Basically, up until the first verse, it's 37 seconds of an introduction. So I might actually want to cut that slightly. So with the counting or the, the countdown, um, and up until the first bit of that introduction, there isn't a lot happening. So that's cutting out at least about 11, 10 seconds um, of 36 seconds. So that's that's a lot. So let's go on to what we'll do is we'll click on the time stamp over there, click on starting point, and then I'll tell it where to come in. So I want really the, my, my guide and my click track to start 10 seconds in. So that when, when we hit play on a Sunday morning for the first song, we're not waiting 10 seconds for the introduction to start. We're actually falling right into it. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's really helpful. Um, you can do the same thing at the end of the song, of a song if you don't want the ending of a song to continue um, much longer than it is then um or for as long as, as it is you can just set the, the end point to uh where you feel you want to end it um and then one last thing is editing options when you click on on edit say for example living hope um we we get to to canfield on sunday morning and i decide wow my vocals really aren't ready um for this song and see i can change that so i click on the the, the kind of the three dotted bubble in the middle of the song um, and I can then change the key to whatever key I'd like it to and then once you select let's say for example I want to do it in G I mean G is much higher but anyway so and you click on update and it will basically download um, the stems that you need um, for that key so uh, just a few helpful tips hopefully um, that could assist you on a Sunday morning if things suddenly need to change or you realize oh wow this might work better um, in a shorter version. So yeah, I hope that's helpful.